looky here. If we break up today, you getting replaced today. Uh, I ain't sick. I don't need no time to heal. About that smash, I'm gone. No. It'll never turn into nothing. I could be with a girl 20 years and it'll never turn into nothing because I know what's up. I'm looking at you. Because they put on such a show Got where you do. just be like, yeah, okay, all right, I see. I'm not dead. Yeah, but I know you are. <laughs> I have been on some really shitty dates in my life. One of them including a couple of days ago. If you know, you know. And that one definitely takes the cake, but there's this one other one that really was strange. If you are my mother or my father, please do not watch this video. So I met this guy off of a dating site and I don't remember which one it was, but just know, we met off of a dating app. I'm pretty sure we went on one date, but after that date, I remember him hitting me up one night and being like, hey, do you want to hang out? It ain't nothing I want more. Ain't nothing I want more. I told you when I first came, right. I said, I ain't come here to waste my time. So I reply back and I'm like, sure, why the heck not? Why not have a good night? Tell her, whoever she is, I love her already. Yeah, 8 a.m. Monday, she yours. So I head over there, we get some drinks and we're hanging out, we're chilling. It's a vibe, okay, we're having a good time. So it starts getting really late and he's like hey do you want to head to bed and i'm like sure yeah let's go to sleep and we all know what's gonna happen when we head to bed <laughs> so at one point i remember him being like hey like lay over my lap and me thinking like oh oh i don't know i'm so i'm like kind of vanilla you know what i mean like i was i didn't say this to him but in my head i was thinking it but i decided i was like yeah let me just let me just try it out you never know nasty bitch so he's whacking the bottom and you know I, I i don't mind it i mean it's 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 kind of hot i've read those like erotica stories and stuff in those books and so i was kind of like oh, okay i can get into this i can this isn't bad <laughs> and then this is where things kind of take a turn for the worst hey y'all come look at this so after a little bit of that a little time goes by and he's like okay yeah switch I'm like, he must go mean turn on the light switch because I know he ain't trying to sit on my lap. <laughs> and that is exactly what he meant because he came and laid right over my lap. I'm like, bro, I have no idea what to do with you. Like, I know you just did it to me, but like, this isn't my thing. I, this is gonna be hard for me. And it was, it was the most performative thing I'd ever done in the bedroom in my life. You're a victim. Oh, oh, mm. Here we go. See and then he says something that I'll never forget and I still dream about at night. He says, hey, stick your finger in there. Stick your finger in my bug hole. I'm telling you now, I think you're gay. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God, Becky. If you're wondering if I did it, I did. <laughs> Lord, I'm ever on yeah, I did. I am all up in there trying to plan my escape at this point. And then I feel something. Something that was waiting for me, something that should have been discarded before you ask anyone to do anything like that. Yep, there was a poopy. Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. There was a poopy posted up, hanging out, and I was touching it. I remember audibly screaming. I remember leaving and then never talking to him again. <laughs> Mom and dad, if you watching this, please click off. That's the first red flag right there. I knew the story was gonna take a wild turn, man. Come on, bro. This dude got his butt in the air, pointed to the ceiling, letting a woman finger it. You know, I'm not here to judge y'all and stuff like that, but dog, oh, come on, man. Y'all let a woman do this to y'all. Y'all asking to be publicly embarrassed because them women gonna keep them receipts and they gonna be threatening exposure. You get what I'm saying? So don't be doing nothing behind closed doors that you wouldn't want nobody in real life to find out, bro. You get what I'm saying? When people got ammunition on you, they just try to, they tend to wait until they could use it right and guess what this man lucky she ain't tell nobody who he was but i'm pretty sure the close friends know it but it goes to show you this woman did it she just as nasty as he is i actually think that a woman would jump at the opportunity to emasculate a man and what better way to do it than stick her thumb up there where the sun don't shine right the devil's mailbox but nah man these women have no class this is a story that you shouldn't be telling to the world man somebody in your family is going to see it they're going to relay it to your mom to your dad and they're going to be embarrassed as they should and you should be equally embarrassed but you women don't have any class no more man it is what it is you got to get on your zoom every morning you got to get on your zoom at 10 babe i've been wanting to go out on a date like we have not been on a date in a long time i mean you can take me out on a date too what 
babe how come you don't buy me flowers like i always see girls get just because flowers but i don't even get flowers not even for my birthday okay so neither do i don't i deserve flowers too <laughs> oh my god i have to get my nails done babe do you want to pay for my next set do you ever pay for my haircuts no right okay they calling you sassy because you want reciprocity, right? Nah, don't fall for that, bro. She don't like you like that. Go to the woman who likes you. Don't go to the woman that you like more than she likes you. Go to the one that likes you, bro. That way you can control the dynamic, dog. And these women will bend over backwards for the man that they really like, bro. One of my homeboys received roses from his old lady the other day, and he didn't even know how to respond to that shit because he never received roses from a woman before. And I swear to God, I'm not bullshit. This is some real stuff I'm telling y'all. A woman will hide in your trunk if she like. A woman will pop up at your job unexpected with lunch if she like you. Don't fall for this, bro. You guys want another real reason? We, we, what am I, a little baby? You guys want another real reason why I got dumped? Because I used to make faces at him like this, and then I would pretend like I didn't make anything, like I didn't do anything. So I'd be like, and he'd be like, I saw that, and I'd be like, saw what? I didn't do anything. I personally think it's hilarious. He didn't like it. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Nah, you deserve to get dumped doing all that, man. Why are you playing so much? That's not attractive. <laughs> That's annoying, right? I've broken up with girls for less. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm talking about way less. Like, girl calling me out my name. Like, if my name is William and you keep calling me Wilbur, it's a wrap. You get what I'm saying? Like, petty stuff like that because it starts off small. I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta set boundaries, healthy boundaries in the beginning because if you let them get an inch, they're gonna take a mile. With the way the world is going right now, I think you should just f whoever you want. I think you should shoot every shot that one could shoot. Quit that goddamn job if you hate it. Because really, I keep going on TikTok and I just keep seeing the world in disarray. It's just very apparent that doomsday is just around the corner. We're not supposed to be here to f***ing be enslaved and pay for bills and do all of those things. We're supposed to be eating fruit and f***ing bruv. That's really what we're supposed to be doing on here, except we're paying tax. And paying stupid prices for energy. That's actually supposed to be free. <laughs> I should be swallowing dick as regularly as I feel like, but instead, I'm not sad. So sad. Nah, let's be real. Don't act like it's because of what's going on in the world. You've been wanting to let that Virginia loose. You've been wanting to display LVE. For y'all who don't know about that, that means loose Virginia energy. Virginia is the word that I use as a synonym for the other thing between a woman's leg where the sun don't shine. Obviously, if you can't read between the lines, but let's be real. Y'all are already doing this. Y'all are already sucking. Y'all are already smashing. Y'all are already doing this. Don't use this as an excuse. Let's be real. We all adults. We know what's going on. We ain't no oblivious so you're telling me your ex's was the size of that forearm and i'm blessed now hear me out we're still on this. yes put these in your hands <laughs> do you see the difference there i'm big boned i'm heavy structure <laughs> this one's got a great personality <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Are you crying? No. <laughs> I'm hung low. If I pull my shit out, this whole room get dark. Guys, unless you're a man dingo or somebody like that, bro, chances are your girl has been with a man who is a better man than you. It is what it is, right? So you're doing yourself a disservice bringing up the past, man. Like if your girl tells you that her ex had a baby leg, look like a baby arm holding the out. What you, what, what that's gonna do to you? The whole time you trying to slow stroke and you trying to give her that yeah, you gonna be thinking about how inadequate you are, how much she probably enjoyed that other man more than you. Don't even set yourself up for failure, bro. At the end of the day, they all have taken some BBC, bro. Let's be real. All right, guys, like always, if you made it this far to the video, that means you rock with your boy. I would highly appreciate you if you go ahead on and give me a subscribe. We're closely approaching 100,000 subscribers, and I think that we can get there by this time next month, as long as whoever watching this video hit the subscribe button, man. But other than that, y'all have a good one.